come one, come all to the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Or at least the Circus Museum in Sarasota, next to the Ringling Art Museum. A man named Howard, I forget his first name, built an enormous model of a circus city. When circuses used to move from town to town, they would bring in enormous trains, wagons, 3,000 personnel, and they would basically set up a temporary city outside of the town near the railroad depot. It was an enormous logistical feat. And the quartermaster general of the German army followed the circus for a couple of weeks to learn how they moved everything to prepare for World War I. This is a twin jester steam-powered calliope, similar to a pipe organ, but powered by steam. Don't forget your pluck chicken pith helmet when you flunk out of barber college. Yes, the Harold Ronk. the second building there were several carriages, uh, wagons, that they would bring the animals and various things off of the train down to the circus tents. This is a second twin jester steam calliope. The craftsmanship in the wagons and the materials, the posters, um, advertisements, everything was amazing. Spinners these days have nothing on circus spinners. This is John Ringling's custom-made Pullman car, uh, the first of its kind, built in 1905, I believe. This is the Ringling Art Museum, the exterior in the courtyard, which I actually prefer to the art exhibits inside. There are many really really good sculptures outside and the grounds are just beautiful as you can see here's Ray getting a little Dutch oven Most of the art inside the museum is pretty old and stayed. It doesn't really do much for me. There's uh, only a couple of pieces of any newish art. This guy looks like Ricky Wilcox.